but here on behalf of millions of South Africans, is for a person paid by the people to come and repeat the original question and an opportunity to hold the executive accountable. It's really, really uh, uh, something that must be declared criminal. It's illegal. Comrade Mdu. With respect, this is like very, very positive criticism. Thank you very much. You will learn anyway, Honorable Speaker. With time, you will know how to how Parliament works. Honorable Speaker. Thank you very much. You will learn anyway, Honorable Speaker. With time, you will know how to how Parliament works. Honorable Speaker, we said this this issue of interpolations need to be further processed so that we can all have a better understanding. But in the meantime, we use what we have. We didn't say that this uh, this whole uh, in this whole uh, information about the questions must go back. We agreed on the further processing on interpolations, of which even now I still agree with it that the the interpolations need to be further processed. Thanks. Thank you, Honourable Lakude. Honourable Mblosi. No, that's fine, Speaker. In fact, um, I, well. Maybe we did not clarify each other properly, but uh, what is going back, as far as I'm concerned, to the sub-rules is, is not here. So we're saying that point two on optimization must be, we must task the subcommittee to develop a rule. So it means there must be an agreement here that there must be interpolations. What the committee is going to do is not discuss whether there must be interpolations or not, the subcommittee is coming with a proposed rule. That's the first thing. The honorable money will be covered by point six in the previous section. The subcommittee will then consider protocols and guidelines on executive replies. These will then be put to the rules committee for further consideration and adoption. It means we do have a mandate to go and say, what are the guidelines to consider whether there was a qualitative reply or not? So that's why I limited myself earlier. And I think with respect to Honorable Vessels, uh, who is out now, Rule 68, if we agreed applies, I have no problem. My final, uh, my final uh, problem, have you noticed that there is a growing phenomenon, uh, Comrade Mdu, particularly from NCMPs? that on the opportunity of a follow-up question, they repeat the original question. It happened again even today. The deputy president even said to a person, but I've already, in my original answer, answered that question. Whilst it's a reflection on the quality of responses from a specific political party, uh, we may want to ask the sub rules committee to we must be allowed, like, we can't have, in a question and answer session, members of parliament as well, not qualitatively interrogating the executive. And me and the deputy speaker had a standoff on the question, but I do think in the spirit of this item, we want to say that we will be able as well to hold ourselves as parliament to the same standard we demand of the executive. The follow-ups must be quality as well. But what it must not be allowed, what must not happen, Deputy Speaker? Like, think about it. Like, we're adults, we're here on behalf of millions of South Africans. It's for a person paid by the people to come and repeat the original question and an opportunity to hold the executive accountable. It's really, really uh, uh, something that must be declared criminal, it's illegal, Comrade Mdu. With respect, this is like very, very positive criticism. Thank you. I have the Honorable Michalakis and then the Honorable Kuernov. Thank you very much, Chair. Um, Chairperson, uh, I, I agree. 
Um, my original proposal was not whether we uh, explore whether we want interpolations. It's a matter of we would like inter interpolations, but that the subcommittee actually explores what they should look like. Um, we don't have to go on study tours. We don't have to have long discussions. It was in the rules before. Um, we can maybe tweak it here and there to make it more applicable to the modern parliament. Um, but the original uh, proposal that I made was that we agree that this is desirable um, and that the subcommittee just explores what it should look like and how it should be um, implemented. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Kurnoff, then Honourable Dagmar. We are now on page four and we are dealing with a subcommittee further recommended. Uh, this is part of paragraph four. Uh, so can I appeal to you that we l uh, listen to the completion of paragraph four on the next page with recommendation and questions and then take a decision. Honourable Kurnoff, we have actually gone to that part. So that was where the discussion started regarding the interpolations and the on-the-spot on rule. And um, so I think we are at the moment point where there was a proposal, there was a seconder, and then there were additional points made. Um, Honourable Mashlaule, are you covered? Okay. Um, Honourable members, we still have a proposal that was seconded, so we have to deal with that, and that is that this matter be referred to Honourable Vessels. I'm glad you're back. Um, your proposal was that the whole point be referred back to the subcommittee. That includes interpolations because reference is made to interpolations in this particular one. I think in terms of the quality of, of uh, replies, that would cover Honourable Horn's point in terms of relevance, irrelevance. Um, so could I ask... Is there anyone who is opposed to this, that it be uh, sent back to the subcommittee for further deliberation and that the Rules Committee then look at whatever is the consensus after that? Can we proceed on that matter? Honourable Michalakis? Uh, my apologies, Madam Chair, but I'm not clear then whether the Rules Committee uh, has indicated whether uh, interpolations are desirable or not. Uh, are we leaving it open? Um, I would suggest that, that we actually make a decision here. It was briefly discussed in the subcommittee um, and it was uh, briefly presented to us um, what it entails and, and all of that. I would prefer for, for the Rules Committee to make a decision on whether it's desirable and then we can only take what it will look like to the subcommittee um, instead of referring it blanketly to, to the subcommittee for deliberations and then for us to have to decide whether we want it or not. I think from our side at least it's clear that we would like it um, and that was my, my initial proposal. Thank you. Um let me just first put, we have a proposal, there's now an amendment on that proposal that the whole thing is not just referred back, but that a decision is taken by the Rules Committee now on the desirability. Honourable Dagmar, my apologies, I omitted you. It's fine, the Deputy Chief Whip um, has indicated that she wants to speak. I'll, I'm not a full member, I, but I was on the subcommittee and I recall that the wording there, the possibility of interpolations could be supported is correct. Uh, Deputy Speaker, we can't hear. Okay, it is. Uh, Honourable Dagmar says that. I'll say that again. Please, yes, yeah. please repeat um, that. Thank you, Speaker. I'm not a, m a member of this committee, but I was on the subcommittee proposal, so, and I noted that our Deputy Chief would want to speak, but I just wanted to say, having been in that subcommittee, that wording, while the possibility of interpolations could be explored further, the current arrangement, Allah, is what we agreed. So my understanding from what's being proposed is that's going to go back to the subcommittee for further discussion. Thank you. Honourable Lakudi and then Honourable Nodada, I also admitted to you, sorry. Thank you, uh, Honourable Speaker, uh, Deputy Speaker. Um, I keep on promoting you. <laughs> okay. Honourable Deputy Speaker, I think it will be unfair for this committee to take a decision on the desir desirability of the interpolation if we don't have the information. What we said, we said the NA table must provide information on interpolations because some of us, we were not there when interpolations were there. So they must provide inf inter, uh, the information so that we can understand and agree and then process it further. Thanks. Quite a few hands. Honourable Nodada, your hand was first, then Honourable Mashlaule, then Glose, then Honourable Manye. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, um, Deputy Speaker. I think I think the Rules Committee is well within its space to take a decision of this nature. 
I would like to suggest, uh, Deputy Speaker, that based on, on your summary in the ruling, it must include the following. One, this committee, now there's a proposal that we make a determination that we want interpolations, and therefore re referring the establishment of the rules around interpolations to go to the subcommittee. That's the first thing. Secondly, there's a proposal from Honorable Vessels that says this particular section in terms of the questions must go back uh, to, to the subcommittee to develop it way better. But the, the establishment of interpolations is something that we must take as a decision here. Yeah? We agree that that must go there. And once that agreement has been uh, done, then the subcommittee is then tasked to make that determination. So that, that's basically um, what I think must be determined now. Information about you know, interpolations, those, those things can be sent through to the, rules, to the subcommittee to, to, for further information on, on, on how those were done before. Thanks. Thank you, Honorable Nodada. Before I give the other hands, um, the Honorable Nodada has now proposed an amendment on an amendment. Um, so I think at this particular point, let's start with the last one. Honorable Nodada proposed that the matter be referred, but specifically that a decision is taken by the Rules Committee in terms of the uh, desirability of interpolations and that the task or well, the sub, uh, subcommittee then be tasked to look at the specific um, modalities of how this the interpolations will function. Honourable Vessels. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I support that. I think I don't think it's necessarily an amendment. It's actually two proposals. The first proposal was made by the Honourable Mikulakis, and uh, I would second that. Fact of the matter is we can say to each other, there's a need for interpolations. What that will entail, if it is once in three years or once in a sitting or only in question time, those details we'll discuss in the subcommittee on rules. So I don't think we have to now see and be scared of interpolations because we think if we say it's desirable, it's going to mean something. The meaning thereof will be discussed in the subcommittee um, according to the facts provided and the research provided. So uh, I would support that, and I think there's been um, actually two um, proposals. Thank you. Welcome to LT Celeb Times. That's it for now, guys, and uh, please tell us what you think about this on the comment section below, and thank you so much for watching.